Do authors need a website? Hi, my name is Shelly Hitz, and I help published authors reach more readers with their message using our five-step marketing plan so you can consistently market your books without feeling pushy or salesy. In each of my Ask Shelly episodes, I promise to share at least one thing that will help you write, self-publish, and market your books so that the message of your book can impact lives. So the question that I received is, do I need to have a website in order to market my book? And what else can I do in that website? And so this is a great question because I think there are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to book marketing. And there's a lot of people that will say, you have to do it this way. You have to have this, you have to do that. Like you have to have a platform, which means a website and social media and email list and Oh, it can feel really heavy, especially, you know, most of you are doing this part-time on the side. You have another job or life and all the things going on. And no, the short answer is no, you do not need a website. You can market your books without a website. You can start with a mini author platform, which I consider to be your Amazon author page, like a BookBub author page and a Goodreads author page. So those are just places for people to, to start to find you. And then you have some sort of email list. So we right now recommend MailerLite. It's free for up to a thousand subscribers. And for most of you, that'll be plenty for a while. And so you can get started for free. You can give away a compelling free gift. And MailerLite even gives you um, tools to create a free landing page. So you don't even need to have to embed that on your own website. So you can get started with all of that for free. You could even set up like a free Facebook page to have some information there if people are Googling and they find you there, but you don't have to have that. I mean, there's, there's, you don't have to be on social media. You don't have to have a website. Like <laughs> there's multiple ways to market a book. The, the main ways to attract new readers, as I've talked about many times with our five-step marketing plan is SEO, search engine optimization, which is through like blogging, YouTube, Pinterest. You can even use it on Amazon when you create a short Kindle ebook that you optimize for certain search phrases and paid ads. So for books, we typically recommend Amazon ads, but there's other paid ads and places that you can, um, you can pay them to promote your book. And then there's collaborations. That would be things like podcast interviews, solo email swaps, guest blogging, all of that sort of thing. Um, speaking on stages or speaking at summits, <laughs> but there are, there are so many ways to market your book. So no, you do not need to have a website, but it is helpful to have at least a business card website. So I usually recommend maybe at least five pages. You know, you have your home landing page, you have a page all about your book and where to buy it. You have a page for your email list sign up. You have a contact me page. You know, there's just some basic pages and we, we go through this in our platform module in Christian Book Academy um, of, you know, just setting up your website with those basic pages. And then if people are searching for you, they can find you and they, they have a way to contact you um, that way. You know, I've had people contact me asking me um, if they could use a quote from my book. And you know, it just, all sorts of things. If, if I wanna speak at an event or, you know, just there's so many opportunities that can open for you, but um, many times there's not a way for someone to get in touch with you. So that business card website is something that you can set up and you don't have to keep adding new content. You know, a lot of times I think authors, when you, when you think of websites, you think of blogging, right? Like, oh, I've got to have a blog, I'm a writer. So all writers have blogs, right? Wrong. <laughs> you can, I mean, a lot of times it's a perfect fit for a writer because you already love writing and typically, and so blogging is a great way. And then you can use search engine optimization, like I talked about earlier, and optimize your post so that people who are searching for you can find you. We have training on that um, specifically to help you optimize your blog for search engine optimization. And like, so when people are typing something into Google, you may come up in the search results. Um, we have um, those trainings for you in Christian Book Academy. So if you're not a member yet, join us at christianbookacademy.com. But I just want you to take a deep breath. <sighs> And like, no, you do not need to have a website. 
But if you really want to have a career as a writer, if you if you want to um, publish multiple books and you want to have a way to really start to to you know be found whether someone's just searching for you and they can find your website and contact you or um, if you do want to blog you know a website it is it is a great it is a great thing to have <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I do I do recommend it and then you have your email subscriber list embedded on there because you asked what else can I do with that website? Well, you can have a page, like I said, just for your book, where you talk about your book, the benefits of your book, and the hook maybe of your storyline, and and you um, have links to where they can buy it on Amazon or other retailers. You know, one of the things I've noticed with a lot of authors and their websites, I've done website audits, and a lot of authors, they hide their book. (laughs) It's like, where do I find your book? Like, it's not even you know, easy to, to, to see it or to know it. So that's one thing is, is make sure you have something in the top navigation for that book page. And then, you know, have an, um, maybe a mock-up of your book cover in the navigation bar on the sidebar and just make sure it's easy for people to know. Like even in, if you're, if you're doing blog posts, you know, you can have something at the bottom that says, you know, check out my book. Da, 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 da. And we give you some really great training in how to talk about your book in a way that doesn't feel salesy and slimy, <laughs> but it really helps compel your buy, your potential book, book buyers to know like, is this book gonna help me? Is it something I wanna read? It's called copywriting, where you write to sell. So we have a training called Scrolling to Sold. It is an excellent training, it teaches you the basics of copywriting and then gives you templates you can use for talking about your book. All right, so I've talked about a lot of things. You can, um, like I said, have your book page. You can have a place for people to sign up to your email list. And if you don't know anything about email lists or if you want to learn more, we have a Kingdom Writers Conference about that that you can sign up for free. You get free access for five days. If you're a Christian Book Academy member, you already have access to this in the conference replays module. So no need to sign up. but. Um, If you're not yet a Christian Book Academy member, you can get access to our email marketing edition at kingdomwritersconference.com forward slash email. And that really will help you to understand what email marketing is, like what all this stuff is. I I give you a really step-by-step approach to that. There's so much that goes into websites and thinking about that, but um, this is just to kind of get you started and thinking about what you wanna do as a writer. Um, We would love to help you and even give you more personalized advice in our signature membership called Christian Book Academy. You can join us at christianbookacademy.com and we would love to see what, um, how we can help you and you know get going in marketing your book and really deciding um, what to do regarding a website. All right, I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.